Hi, welcome to 7 Facts, the channel where you'll surely find a video about every single country on earth. In today's video we're going to explore Wisconsin, but keep in mind that there's an entire playlist of all the US states and territories, so be sure to check that out too. Please remember to subscribe if you wish to see the two brand new videos I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. Wisconsin became a possession of the United States after the American Revolutionary War in 1783, but the British kept control of the region for another 29 years. It took another conflict, the War of 1812, for the Americans to establish their presence in Wisconsin. It was after this that large lead deposits were discovered and the region's economy rapidly shifted from fur trade to mining. But this sudden influx of white miners prompted tension with the local Native Americans. The 1827 Winnebago War and the 1832 Black Hawk War culminated in the forced removal of Native American tribes from most of Wisconsin. By 1836, most of the best lands were occupied by farmers from the New England states. Wisconsin's official nickname is the Badger State, but not because the forests are full of these creatures. As I said, in the early 19th century, lead was discovered in Wisconsin, and so immigrants from Cornwall settled in the region and dug mines. Some miners without homes lived in the tunnels during the winter months to keep warm, and their dwellings reminded people of badger holes. Today, the badger is proudly featured on Wisconsin state flag and is also the official state animal. This state is America's Dairyland. There are over 10,000 licensed dairy farms in Wisconsin, which produce 14% of the nation's milk and more than a quarter of its cheese. That's about 1.3 million tons of cheese every year. To make this much dairy products, Wisconsinites own 3.4 million cows. So it's not surprising then that Wisconsinites are nicknamed cheeseheads. Take a look at your keyboard. Is it a QWERTY design? You can thank Wisconsin for that. In the early 1870s, Christopher Latham Scholes from Milwaukee devised and created the QWERTY layout for the Scholes and Glidon typewriter. The initial layout was not in the order we're used to now, but it was gradually changed in order to avoid jamming. Their typewriter was the first commercially successful one, thus popularizing their keyboard layout. Today, most keyboards on PCs phones or any other digital devices and typewriters still use the QWERTY layout. Can you guess where is the world's largest music festival? If you guessed Milwaukee, then you're right. Summerfest is, according to the Guinness World Records, the largest music festival on the planet since 1999. The festival, which started in 1968, lasts for 11 days has 11 stages and over 1,000 performances. Every year since 1999, Summerfest attracts 8 to 900,000 people. Now that's what I call a party. Although Wisconsin is filled with rolling hills, farms and prairies, it's not sparsely populated at all. 5.8 million people call themselves Wisconsinites, and roughly one-third of them are living out their lives in Milwaukee's metropolitan area. Obviously, as is the case in most US states, Milwaukee, the largest and best-known city, is not the state capital. That honor goes to Madison, a city founded even before the territory of Wisconsin, in 1829. Mount Horeb, Wisconsin, is known as the troll capital of the world. The main street, called the Trollway, is littered with large statues of these mythical creatures. This unusual theme was inspired by Nordic folklore as the town was once more than 75% Norwegian. 
This trolling started during the 1980s as part of an effort to continue celebrating their Norwegian and Norwegian-American heritage. And thus, Mount Horeb managed to transform itself into the troll capital of the world. And there you have it. These were 7 facts about Wisconsin. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts downstairs in the comment section and afterwards check me out on Facebook and Twitter. A good way to offer more support to this channel is through Patreon, link in the description. I hope to see you next time, bye.